Hi, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, that's really good. Okay, we are waiting for the others. We have Mauricio that is trying to connect. Um, okay, we have Raquel. We have Carla. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening, Raquel. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. That's you? Really good to know. I'm good, thanks for asking. Okay, we are going to begin our class with a review of yesterday's class. Uh, can you tell me what did we study yesterday? Sobre los imperativos. And what else? ¿Qué más vimos? Aparte de los imperativos. Los lugares. Okay, yes, we were studying places and the things that you can do. And also, I remember that we were studying prepositions of place, right? Yes. Okay, so this is what we are going to do today. We are going to make a review about yesterday's class, especially for the prepositions of place, okay? Hello? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, vaya, les decía que vamos a hacer un repaso de lo que estuvimos viendo el día de ayer, que son las proposiciones de lugar. Okay, so I have prepared a map for you, and that's where we are going to be working, okay? So let me just share it with you. And here it is, okay? Do you see the map? Yes? Yes. Okay, thank you. So what we are going to do is the following. We are going to be practicing with the prepositions of place. For example, if I ask Raquel, where is the park? What is going to be your answer? In the park. Where is the park? Yes. Mm. Oh, on main strip. Okay, let's try to yeah, give. Uh, let's try to oh. give a uh, complete answers. 
tratemos de dar respuestas completas. Ok. On the corner, on the corner, on the first, the cursor. Is it? It's is on the uh, on the is is no. Okay, yes, you can say that is on Main Street. But remember that you can also give different answers. We have here a mall and we have a hotel. Para decir en la esquina. Uh, esquina. Estamos preguntando por el parque. ¿Está en la esquina el parque? Ah, no, enfrente. Pero okay. Está enfrente de. Zoom. Ajá. Okay, entonces, entonces sería from. Sería it, it's on the it's on the main street from okay. Zoom. Uh, okay, it's on main street. Okay. Okay. In front of the zoo. In front of zoom. Yes. Okay. Okay, Janet. Okay, it's correct to say it's across to the zoo. It's across from. It's it's across from the zoo. Yes. Or it's between the mall and the hotel. Okay, excellent. Yes, we have those options. You can say it's across from the zoo or it's between the mall and the hotel. Excellent. Um, Janet, make a question to any of your classmates about any of the places that we have here. Okay. Um, Isael, where is the hotel? Okay. Um, The, the hotel is on the corner. Is on the corner? Yes. Uh-huh. Okay, what else? En la esquina de donde? The corner of the... The main street. Okay, on the corner of Main Street. And? And? Third Avenue. Okay, it's on the corner of Main Street and Third Avenue. Okay, Isael, now you make a question to any of your classmates. Okay. Kevin Kevin Torres. Where is the bank? Thank <laughs> you. 
no estuve en la clase de ayer, no, no. Okay, uh, can you explain to him what we did yesterday? Yesterday we talked about the preposition of place. An example is on, on the corner of, across from, next to, between. Example in is uh, the supermarket is next to the bank. Another, um, the bookstore is on the third avenue. Third in this example. Okay, so okay, Kevin dice que no escucha, veamos. Este otro recoja otro compañero o compañera, Isael. Okay. Person of the Arely Zapata, entonces. Arely. La interferencia que dice que escuchamos o cortado es en parte o... Se escucha con volumen bajito y igual se oye como... Se dice interferencia, no Ya le escuché con interferencia, Ticho. Y como que a lo lejos. No habla. Yo no escucho nada, por ratito. Sé que están hablando y de repente ya no escucho nada. 
que estoy viendo los a ustedes, ¿verdad? Por el momento veo que se quedan congelados o no sé, pero probablemente sea porque va a ver que sucede eso, que se va la señal. Pero, pero si no me escuchan, por favor háganme de saber. Igual, teacher, se le escucha a lo lejos. Como que lo lejos no habla. Ok, so let's try a different way. Let's try to We are going to continue, but we are going to do a part where we are going to give, okay, we are going to give direction, okay? But how much more than I'm going to do that? I'm going to do that. 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 Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to ask for and give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Is it far from here? Let's listen and practice. Excuse me ma'am, can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. We're going to practice giving directions now. Let's practice these phrases and vocabulary to give directions. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Walk up Fifth Avenue. Go up Fifth Avenue. Turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. How can I get to Bryant Park? Walk down Fifth Avenue. Go down Fifth Avenue. Turn right on 42nd Street. It's on the left. So let me summarize the vocabulary we must learn. Four questions. How do I get to? And we mention a place. Or how can I get to? Then we mention a place. Four answers. Walk up. Go up. Walk down. Go down. Turn left on turn right on, on the right, on the left. Make sure you memorize this vocabulary as it will be essential to ask for and give directions. Now let's try to analyze the expressions walk up or go up. The first thing we want to do when giving directions is to have a departing point. Where are you located and where do you want to go? Let's say that we are at the Empire State Building and we have a question like the example shows. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Or how can I get to Rockefeller Center? The first instruction would be walk up 5th Avenue or go up 5th Avenue. Now let's pretend that we are at 42nd Street and Madison Avenue and we want to get to 
St. Patrick's Cathedral. The question would be, how do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Or how can I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? The first instruction would be, walk up Madison Avenue or go up Madison Avenue. Now, let's pretend we are at St. Patrick's Cathedral and we want to get to New York Public Library. The question would be, how do I get to New York Public Library? Or, how can I get to New York Public Library? The first instruction would be, walk down 5th Avenue or go down 5th Avenue. So what is the next step to get to New York Public Library? For that, we will use the vocabulary. Turn right on or turn left on, depending on where our destination is. So to answer that question, we will say, turn right on 42nd Street. So what is the last step after turning right on 42nd Street? For that, we will use the vocabulary on the right or on the left. So in this case, it's on the left. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give directions using this map. Also, try to give directions to your local supermarket, hospital, school, park, etc. How do I get to? And we mentioned. Okay, so there are some things that we need to know. And first of all, we have to do the following questions. How do I get to? Or how can I get to? And this is when I'm asking you for direction. So, for example, if I want to go. How do I get to my percent? Um, how do I get to my percent? And I said, okay. How do I get to my percent? Igual, teacher. Es que para ti dos, no sé, se le, se, le, se le escucha, pero después ya no.
Hola, hola. ¿Sí? Uh, no sé, por ejemplo, un ejemplo sería, por ejemplo, uh, where is the post? Where is the post office? Pero lo haríamos con el ejemplo que ella estaba dando ahorita, ¿verdad? Digo yo, ese sería. Ajá, el ejemplo que ella dio, el último era, por ejemplo, where is the where is the park? Aguacate. Ah, Mauricio no se lo escucha. Okay. No. No, ahorita con las preposiciones. No sé si ahora me logran escuchar mejor. Sí, teacher. Ah, va. Ay, sí, teacher. Veanme que esto de ser de técnica también no es. <risa> Entonces, hablando que son en las preposiciones, preposition, eh, serían, por, por ejemplo, where is the, eh, the place? Y, y este. Y el otro. Yes, okay. Answer. ok. Ok. Entonces sería cómo puedo llegar al lugar. O sea, esa es verdad, las preguntas. No, esa es ya cuando estamos dando direcciones. Ahorita estamos usando las preposiciones. So ejemplo, la que mandó entonces en el WhatsApp, teacher. Sí. Yes. Ok. Sí, ya les voy a explicar cómo vamos a dar las direcciones ¿verdad? para llegar okay. a cierto lugar. Ok. So let me just go and see the others. Thank you. Okay. Solo que no tengo cómo se contesta, solo la pregunta, más bien, o sea, ¿cómo llego a tal lugar? ¿En which place do you want to go? ¿A qué lugar quiere ir o cuál es el que quiere saber? Estamos un poco desorientados con las indicaciones. Yeah, sorry, because I was having problems with my internet, but I think that I fixed it already. Creo que ya lo arreglé. Sí, porque sí, ya se le escucha bien. Vaya, ah, yeah, pues sí, ya solucioné el problema. Ok, that's really good to know. No, ahorita vamos a trabajar con el mapa que les envié, solo de las preposiciones. So, for example, where is the swimming pool or the public? ¿Dónde está la piscina? And then you're going to say, ah, the swimming pool is next to or is in front of, uh, across from, on the corner of. That's what we are going to do, okay? We're going to practice with the map, okay? Okay. Is across uh -huh. from the, the park. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Or uh -huh. is in front of the park. Yes. Uh -huh. Kevin, where is the so? Su. Su. Okay. Where is the zoo? No, quizá no me escucha. Ah, pues Janet, where is the zoo? The zoo is across the park. Across, it's across from the park. Okay, excellent. It's across from the park and it's correct to say it's on Main Street. 
it's on Main Street, yes, but remember that you can also be more specific. When okay, uh -huh. sí. Mm -hmm. But yes. Mm -hmm. Um, where is the post office? No. The post office. The post office is no, the post office is on Three Avenue. On Third. On on Third Avenue. Okay, excellent. Okay, so I'm going to continue where I was explaining to you before that problem. Um, okay, I was able to listen to you practicing the propositions of place, and I can see that most of you are doing great. Estaba viendo que la mayoría de ustedes está haciendo muy buen trabajo con lo que son las preposiciones de lugar. Voy a continuar en donde nos habíamos quedado, que era para dar las direcciones. Okay. So I remember that we were here. So I have these two questions. Tengo estas dos preguntas. How do I get to or how can I get to? Aquí es cuando yo quiero saber cómo llego o cómo puedo llegar yo a cierto lugar. Yo decía, uh, if I'm at downtown, si yo estoy en el centro de San Salvador, and if I want to go to Metro Centro, how do I get there? What could your answers be? ¿Cuáles serían sus respuestas si yo quiero llegar a Metro Centro, por ejemplo? So you can say walk up, go up, walk down, or go down, turn left on, turn right on, on the right, or on the left. You can see that here we have some possible answers, okay? Aquí tenemos lo que son algunas posibles respuestas. So if I look at the map that I shared to you, si vemos el mapa que yo les compartí, and if I want to know, for example, um, how can I get to the hotel? ¿Cómo puedo llegar al hotel? Anyone? Yes. Tengo voluntarios. And where are you? Okay, yeah, let me check that. Ahorita, ¿qué es lo que están viendo ustedes en la pantalla? Lo del video. O están viendo el mapa. ¿Cómo llego? Ah, dice. El video, es una parte del video, está pero... Está negro en la pantalla. Ah, sorry. Está negra la pantalla. So let me just go there again. I'm going to share the map. Okay, so let's suppose that I'm here. Okay. And I want to get to the hotel. How do I get to the hotel? Yeah. 
is correct to say to say walk up to Main Street okay. and is in front of the post office. Okay, so I'm here. You said walk up. Go when to walk walk up to the Main Street. On Main Street. On Main Street. Uh huh. And is in front of the post office. Okay. Um, we can also say turn left or turn, turn right. Left. Sí, puede, me puede decir que gire o bien a la derecha o a la izquierda. Ya sea so de, la is, de la tercera avenida, ¿verdad? Digamos. Y me dice a la derecha, iría para acá. Me dice la izquierda. Yeah, to right. Okay. Yeah. So is turn left. Left. Okay. Turn left on the avenue. Oops. <laughs> Me fui. <laughs> yeah. ¿Cómo sería entonces ahí? Is turn left. Right. Okay. Bye. Ubico más o menos así. Acá está lo que es mi derecha y mi izquierda. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. Entonces digamos que esta es la izquierda. La izquierda. Left. Y esta es la derecha. Ok. Y la derecha. Ok. So I was walking here. I was here. Este era mi punto de referencia. Ok. And you said, go up or walk up Main Street. Ok. So I got here. And then you said. Y luego me dijeron que girara derecha o izquierda. Izquierda. Ok. To right. Ok. Right es la derecha. Right. Left, la izquierda. Ok, entonces sería left. And turn. And turn left on. Ok. Ok, yeah. And then I got to the hotel. Excellent. Ok, so that's what we are going to do. Eso es lo que vamos a estar haciendo ahorita. Entonces, ¿cómo quedaría en sí para decir? Para decir. Ajá, que yo me voy por la calle Main Street, ¿sí? Para el hotel, ¿cómo sería en inglés, entonces? Ok, give me a few seconds. I'm going to share that right now. Ok, uh, this is what we were doing, right? Aquí tenemos lo que son las respuestas. So you can say, walk up Main Street and turn left on, let me see what was, on 3rd Avenue, okay? Um, teacher, I have a question. Go ahead. ¿Qué diferencia hay en decir walk up o go up? Okay, eso estaba acá, termina. Es lo mismo, mm. okay? Well, uh, Sí, o sea, usted puede decir okay. que camine hacia arriba o que suba por la okay. calle okay. principal, por ejemplo. O sea, si regresamos a lo que es el mapa, ustedes me pueden okay. decir, camine, este, camine hacia arriba de la calle principal o suba lo que es la calle principal hasta llegar a la tercera avenida. Luego, gire a la izquierda o a la derecha. Ya. Okay. We have it here. Yes. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Or how can I get to Rockefeller Center? Walk up Fifth Avenue or go up Fifth Avenue. Okay. okay. Yes. Sí, la diferencia yes. es que en una le dice camine hacia arriba. Mm -hmm. Y en la otra suba lo que es la, la primera calle, por ejemplo, o suba la avenida tal y ya. Pero prácticamente está diciendo lo mismo. Okay. Lo mismo, ok. Yes. Ok, thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Ok, uh, 
another question? No? No. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do right now. Le voy a dar el control a uno de ustedes. Y la otra persona, o sea, el que tenga el control, va a ir haciendo lo que yo estaba haciendo. Que cabal con el puntero, ¿verdad? Voy dibujando como que si fuera caminando. ¿Ok? Y la otra persona nos va a ir guiando. Por ejemplo, este, a ver. Vamos a compartir el mapa. Le vamos a dar el control. Ahí me le tiene que dar aceptar. Se lo vamos a dar a Jacqueline. Ok, ahora ya está controlando lo que es la pantalla de mi computadora. Entonces tenemos aquí a Raquel. Raquel, usted le va a decir a Jacqueline how to get to the hospital. Y el punto de partida lo vamos a tener por donde está el mall. Ok. ¿Dónde está el mall? Mall. Ah, el mall. Mall. Ok. Um, well, um, pero voy para hospital, ¿verdad? Sí, vaya, Jacqueline, ah. usted tiene lo que es acceso total, ¿verdad? Puede utilizar lo que es el pincel para trazar lo que es su camino. Ok, entonces sería wow. Uh, Wall up Main, mm, Main, Street? Main Street. No, el punto de partida no, es el mall. Es el mall, ajá. Ajá, el anaranjado. Entonces tendría que decir que. Ajá, ahí, correcto. Caminé, no, o salí. Wall up Main Street. Ah, derecha. Eh, pero en este uh, caso, como no vamos hacia arriba, sino que estamos yendo recto, también uh -huh. podemos decir go straight. Go straight. Straight. Go uh -huh. straight. Yes. Go straight. Como straight. Ah, sí. Entonces sería, en vez de igual up, sería go straight. Yes, sí, es porque no estamos, no estamos ah. yendo hacia arriba, sino que estamos yendo recto. So, go straight, main street. Go street, main street. Um, a la derecha. Ir a la derecha. To right on. Uh, on Third Avenue. Ok, on Third Avenue. Uh -huh. Y luego, uh, Avenue, from en the hospital, from uh -huh. right. y go street, main street, sería uh, to right on, uh -huh. que ir a la derecha, and then. Uh, In front, no sería en frente. Oh, down. Down. No, in front. go down, que vaya hacia abajo. Ah, ok. Go down, sería go down. Yes. Go down. Que gire a la derecha, ¿verdad? Go down, yeah, you can say go down Third Avenue. Go down. Third Avenue. Tier, uh, Tier Avenue. Okay. Hospital. No. Go down on Third Avenue and. And Hospital. Ok. 
okay, pero ¿dónde va a encontrar el hospital? En, en la... En el restaurante francés. ¿Por qué no está la par? En la, en la Avenue, Tier Avenue, Tier Avenue. No puedo ver de corona, otra cosa. De corona, aquí en la base. Y de otra vez para allá. To right on. Y ahí tiene que ir a la derecha o a la izquierda. Al tour right on. Lado derecho. Ok. Tour right on. In the hospital. And turn on your right. Ok. Or turn right. Ok. Right on Thank hospital. Ok. Thank you. Ok. Vaya, yeah, ahora two. Jacqueline Go ya puede... Street. Dejar de controlar, por favor. Le vamos a dar control a alguien más. No. ¿Por qué no? A, a quien dijo no, le vamos a dar el control. No puedo, teacher. Estoy desde el teléfono. Ah, ok. So now let's see. A poco vamos a poner a uno de los caballeros. Okay, Kevin. Kevin, where are you? Ese nos hizo Kevin. No, le vamos a dar control a alguien más. Uh, let's see, Isael. Ok, ahí le tiene que dar a aceptar. Ok, excelente. So now, let me see, uh, the one that is going to give an instruction is going to be Mauricio, okay? And Isael, you're going to go to the movie theater, okay? So you are at the French restaurant. Está en el French restaurant y quiere ir al movie theater. Mauricio, ¿cuáles son las indicaciones que le va a dar? Uh, we cannot hear you. Walk Third Avenue. Okay, walk. No escuchamos. Sí, casi no se le escucha, Mauricio. Walk Walk Third Avenue. Okay. Left on Turn left on Hotel. Okay. Go my street. Next mall. Next. Next mall. In next mall. And then
to write on mark. Okay, turn right. Right. To write on mark. Okay. Isael, Mauricio is saying no. To write on more. Left or right? Okay. Right. Okay. Thank Casi you. me perdía. Sí, yo, porque le dijo que se fuera al hotel y que ahí girara. Yeah, and I was like, okay, I'm just looking at you. Okay. Yeah, so ya vi. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Okay, so now we are going to give control to another person. Vamos a darle control a alguien más. ¿Tengo algún voluntario o voluntaria? Yes. Me, teacher, I. Who said me? Carla Chavarría. Okay, Carla, I'm giving you control right now. Okay. Okay, excellent. Vaya, solamente bórreme allí las... No, en deshacer. Váyase a deshacer. Ajá. Más fácil. Yeah, it's easier. You see? Okay. And the one that is going to give you directions is going to be... Let me see. Um, we're going to have Ernesto. Okay. And Carla, you are in the art museum. It's in the Museo de Arte. Okay. Art and museum. yes, and you want to go to the public pool. Okay. Okay. Ernesto, can you okay. tell in her instructions? Okay. Um, the Yeah. On the on the oh, left. Okay. It's dear. I mean, no. Uh, what's the most different? Okay. What's the? I mean, yeah. She's in the art museum, and she wants to go to the public. Pool. Walk up. Walk up. How can I get public pool? Oh, oh, okay, excellent. Okay, remember the, the vocabulary that we have to give instructions? I could see that some of you sent that to the chat on the group we have on WhatsApp. For example, we have walk up or go up, walk down, go down, okay? Turn left on, turn right on, on the right, on the left. We can also add, add sorry. Go straight. Uh -huh. uh, okay. Y 
No, no, no sé. Arely, can you help Carla to get to the public pool, please? Vaya sería eh, del um, Art Museum al public pool, ¿verdad? Yes. Sería um, walk up. Walk up. Um, go, go down. Ah, okay. Your Avenue. On Third Avenue, okay. Este. Um, Ahí sí me equivoco, ahí sí estoy confundida porque tengo que pasar el, res, el restaurante francés para luego llegar. Así sería. Uh, puede pasar por allí o también se puede ir on Main Street. Sí, pasar por el zoológico. Entonces tendría, okay. tendría que decir. <laughs> Dear Avenue, yeah. Main Street. Okay, you said go down Third Avenue. Okay, mm -hmm. and then. And then. Street. No, you can say turn. Te gire. Mm. Help me. <laughs> okay, let's see. Jacqueline, can you help Carla to get to the public pool? Okay. I'm art museum. Yes, she is in the art museum. Okay. Um, go up. Up? Go up. Go up and uh, no 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 sorry sorry. Uh -huh, okay. <laughs> Go down. <laughs> Go down in the third avenue. Okay. And tall. No. Go up. Go up. <laughs> Go. <laughs> up again. Go down. Go down. Okay. And, and I. Turn left. Okay, turn, turn left. left. In the, no, 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 sorry. Todavía no, teacher. <laughs> go down. Go down in the third avenue. Uh -huh. Go down. Go down. Um, okay. Um, Walk up on the main street. Go down. And go down in the street. And in the street. Mm. And between the post office and so. The zoo, okay. Oh. Go down, uh -huh. go down, turn yes. left, turn left, and the street, and between the zoo and the public pool, and I okay. go to the public school. <laughs> public school. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Ya vieron ese mapa, ¿verdad? Con esa dirección. Ya más parece tripachuca, pero sí. Tripachuca. Ok, thank you. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if you have questions. No sé si tienen preguntas. No, la verdad es que no. Más bien tendríamos que aprendernos okay. las... Bastante. Aprendernos bastante el... El vocabulario. Ajá, exactamente. Creo que eso sería como lo más importante para poder... 
Ok, yes. Sí, estoy viendo que necesitamos aprendernos bien este vocabulario porque ahí a la compañera la estaban mandando arriba y tenía que ir abajo y al final pues ahí tenemos un arte abstracto, por decirlo así. Ok, um, vaya. Okay. Recuerden que el día de mañana vamos con lo que es el midterm. Este, y no sé si tienen alguna duda o consulta de las secciones 1, 2 y 3, o si todo les ha quedado claro. En esta sección estoy yo ahorita, en la plataforma. Ok, excelente. ¿Y con los demás? ¿Está todo claro o tienen alguna pregunta? Yo igual empezando esta sección voy, pero... Voy a avanzar hoy por aquí. Okay. Good. Ok. Janet dice que también va en la section 3. Excelente. Ok. Vaya, entonces si no hay más preguntas, los dejo para que descansen, ¿verdad? O si van a estudiar, pues estudian un su ratito. Y mañana venimos con todo para el mid ¿ok? Ok. Ok. Thank okay. you. Bye. Bye. Welcome. Okay. That's, all, that's all for today. Have a okay. nice rest of your day. Bye. Good night, teacher. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye. Bye.